Hello guys and welcome to some Europa Universalis 4. I am going to be trying a, just a chill out series really, it's not going to be taken seriously. It is going to be a non Iron Man mode, I'm going to be playing with uh, these things right here. And I'm going to be playing as Busoga. Busoga. I just wanted to have a go at creating a Central African Empire, really. Let's see how it goes. Um, I will want a random new world as well, just to... I already had that on. Oh, that's random nation button. Yeah, I want random new world. Let me just yeah, select here. Create random new world. And yeah, I have got some sub mod on. It is called the Ainsley Universalis sub mod, which is why Ainsley Harriet is going to be popping up quite a bit. I'm a huge fan of Ainsley Harriet. He's a great chef. And uh, now we have Ainsley Harriet in the game. I have played with someone uh, this mod before in my Castillo series. It just adds a bit of flavour. Yes. Flavor, because he's a chef. Yes, very, very good. Uh, it's um, this is it's quite a hard start. I think we're the smallest nation. We found a little, a little area of Africa. So coming out on top is going to be quite an issue for us. But hey, let us uh, load in and play. We're playing in Iron Man mode, but we will not be doing all that stuff. I did start a. I checked it out to see what this start is like, and it's it's a pretty hard start, which is why I chose this nation. I had to go with the other one as well, these guys over here, Buganda, but I prefer Basoga. They have a much, much nicer flag. As you can see, just uh, these guys, their flag, it's still got the shield, but it's a little bit less colourful, which is why I have chosen these guys after base between two. So we need to rival Buganda and Buriano. We'll go ahead and do that. And we'll attempt to ally the people who are not them. Which would be these two nations. How great. Offer our alliance here and in a day we will offer an alliance over here. There we go. We have friends. Now we start off with a bit of money and we start off with uh six stuff here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try and a couple more dudes because hey dudes, we need stuff. Um, the mission the best mission to do would be to remove them from the map so we get a straight up claim on that stuff. But yeah, let's do it. We have merchants who also need to be sent to boot so we'll send them to collect in the capital because we don't really have many other options. And to transfer from Congo. So there we are. It is time. I think we're around Uganda in modern day maps. I'm not entirely sure. So any more somebody with an actual map showing at the moment. Go ahead and show me. But I want to develop a bit and the way I'm gonna to try to come out on top in this particular region is I'm going to concentrate on military superiority here. I want to be the first to reach techs and to be able to dominate my enemies on the battlefield. At least that's what I'm hoping is going to happen, so that we can unify the Lake of Victoria. Which I'm sure it wasn't known as back in these days, it's probably more known as Lake Kivu or Lake Rut and Zinji or... No, not Lake Albert, definitely not. Lake Uso Basoga, yes. I'm going to be trying to develop my land as well because we do need more money. We need to be able to pay for more men and such, so... Uh, Let's just gain a few extra duckers, why don't we? We produce fish. They produce salt, which is also better. They produce, yeah, everyone produces stuff better than us, which is a shame. I'd rather we produce the best stuff, but that's not an option, so uh, we won't. But we're already catching up on development. These guys obviously have multiple provinces, some of them, so catching up on their development will be a bit harder, ultimately, but. Ah, sure. We can genocide ourselves. I'm not sure that's quite the best thing to do. At all. But can we afford... No, we cannot afford... Our army maintenance is already all the way up. We cannot afford an extra man. We cannot afford what we have. It's just a ludicrous idea to try and purchase more men for the army. Oh yes, uh, Ainsley Universalis. What is going on with my mod? Why is it not working? Ainsley Universalis. What is going on? 
Ah, so yes, there'll be a lot of sitting around. The goal here is I will be colonising as soon as I can. That will likely be my first idea group. I have no idea how to use this religion at all. So, uh, sure. I, uh, I guess. I have all the DLCs. I don't know why there's nothing showing up here. We have these guys uh, just doing their thing. We can ask for contributions if we really need that much money, but we don't. Actually, if I were to get your influence up, or at least your happiness up, land mazes modify down 5%. Now that is much better. We save a slight bit of money by granting monopoly charters. And we get trade efficiency. <laughs> hey. I don't know what clergy do. Stability cost modify yet. Yeah, not something I needed. So now I've lost all my prestige and for what? Wasn't maybe the best of decision going on now, was it? I have all these diplomats. I should really do something with them. Whoa, Burundi. How do you do? This guy is under attack. And he's allied to Buganda here. Buganda is only allied to Buha. Buha is under attack. Ah! Maybe we should attempt to take over these guys while their allies are busy. Sure. I wasn't meant to be going to war this, this soon, but if it presents itself, we may as well give it a go. So, yes, we'll not hire a general. We'll hire a... Uh, King General, who is ahead of his time and reckons he knows how to fire a gun. And we'll attempt to attack over here. Hopefully our friends will come over to save us. Or maybe they'll just leave us to die. Is yes, we actually going to win here with this negative crossing? We, can... we actually won. Okay. So you can assume that the war is going to go in our favour now. They're fighting rebels. I promised all of these guys lands now. You don't actually border anyone. So Nakore over here is probably going to get pissed with me. I'm not giving them that land at all. Just why would I? Now these guys here have three provinces. Damn. I could always give one to you to weaken them and maybe do something else with them. And how much uh, development do you be? You would be a whole 12 extra developments. I'll need some uh, some admin to core it. Yes. Oh, we are in Rwanda region. Uganda. I am in Uganda. Ah, my map knowledge is very good. Very, very good. I don't fight their rebels. I don't know how they're rebels. So, who's this also attacking them? Ooh, ah, that's Burundi. Burundi thought they would have a go. Now, the reason I'll be doing this is purely for uh, hopefully to get. What's it called? Army force damage, which has already gone up anyway. That'd be the goal here. In fact, let's just uh, hire enough dude because we can. This seed should not take too long. We should be able to get some cash out of this. But we'll do the entire peace deal together. And sweet, there we go. We'll just sit over here and wait for them to do their part. Nope, you stay here, mate. Under the command of Wako. Wako man, yes. Nikore, eh? What are we gonna do about you? You you're allied to everyone, so we're not gonna be getting in there anytime soon. But you you allied to Rwanda. That's a shame. Rwanda strong. Okay, so this is uh this is a good start. If I've seen one. Look at that gator. These ships just sail and come down to say hi. You guys gonna win down there? Gonna be begging for the land, that's for sure. At the very least I'll give you some, because I did promise these guys land, but I maybe didn't need to. I only need to promise uh, you, not and Corey over there. Might end up losing them as a friend, which is always a shame, but hey, uh, the war is over. I would take Nass. You can take that. You can't take that. 
So you're not actually pissed. Nobody's actually pissed. I'll still give you that anyway. Because you are my friends. Take the gold. If that's the case, what if we separate piece you? Let me get that land there. Get all the gold between us. No, 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 they're not happy for that. Why? That doesn't actually make them happier, so we may as well just do it this way where they were happier for it. Unreasonable demands? Why is this unreasonable demands? Oh, now it's not unreasonable, is it? Something changed, made it unreasonable. Yes, well, I want this money. Okay. I guess we'll just do that. They'll be happier. They... Doesn't say anything. But they can't actually take any land anyway, so what's the... What's the fuss here? Later, mate. So he's happy with me? No, he's not. Why? Hostile. Why are we hostile? Aggressive expansion once your provinces brought a friction. You're just being a dick. Let's improve relations with both of our allies. So allies will be important. Yeah, let's improve relations with you as well. There's nothing else to do with these diplomats. But yes, we have taken Buganda. I do not want any issues. Let's get rid of them straight away and let's try to call this land straight up. Nice army here, and we are making uh, profits from it. No ships. Somehow we have naval force limits. Don't know how. Stay. There it was. So all this nonsense. Improve our prestige. Yes, that will likely never happen. Ever. Yeah, lines breaking with uh, easy. Days. I shouldn't have given them land then, should I? They're allied with absolutely everyone. Not you. You're only allied with Rwanda. Can we royal marry you? Government does not allow us to make royal marriages. Why? I am a high elder. You have heirs. You have heirs. But I am a high elder. Yes. Ooh. Okay, well, let's, let's fucking do this guy then. Break their alliance. They're wankers, aren't they? Alright, cancel the list. Nonsense. Let's send this knob at an uh, insult then, eh? Let's fought a war together and you come over and start being a dick. Unacceptable, man. Can't be doing this. Economy issue embargo as soon as I can on both of them. Oh, we have a truce. Never mind. Do it over here, though. Screw these guys. Sweet. Now, hopefully, Corrin out of land will give me another force of so I can have the biggest army in town. But the major issue here is people are going to start. No, they're not going to do anything. Yeah, I need to... They're going to start allying each other. Does that mean I can ally you now? You're allied to him. Which I don't like. But you hate my friend, which I do like. No one allied to each other's rivals says that as well. And Kore. So deal is attacking this guy, but he's allied to Rwanda and Karagui. Ah, yes. So he's allied to both of these stacks here, so that's 18,000 men. I'm not getting 18,000 men together. Which means I might have to go down the colonization route. Sooner than later. Sooner than later, mate. Hey, indeed. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Isn't it? Ah, we're rivals, are we? Now, how much do you guys cost? A whole ducat. Well then. Guess we won't be taking you. Now, I will be wanting allies purely to keep me defensed uh, here, if that makes, if that's even a word. So hopefully you will uh, be able to turn up once we get those relations up. I just want to have more allies than just this guy, because he's not guaranteed to join a war. If 
one where to start. Ganda, Akoli, Ganda, Rwanda, Ganda, Ganda, what am I? Masaba. So I am the one and only Masaba in the entire world. I'm a one province culture. What is going on, mate? What's the chance these other guys doing colonization? I'll just be able to grow around here. Oh, uh, colonies do take money. It's somewhat of an issue. But that land is cored. Which means I am raking in more ducats. And we're blessed. A whole load of blessed. Cavalry, how much is gonna cavalry gonna cost me? Ooh, all my money. African spearmen I could probably just about get through with the ex, um, extra costs. But then that wouldn't really help, would it? When you think about what I'm up against. An extra thousand men is not really going to be the changer of the world here, is it? Yeah, so just got to wait for... Uh, admin level 5. Damn, that's a long way away. <laughs> yes. Very long, reckons. Whoa, 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 whoa. You need 979 power to tech up. Is this genuine? That's with 0% extra cost. It's going to cost me that much. Because I am a Central African, I get 65% extra. Damn. Damn, mate. That is, uh... That means I'm not reaching, like, level 5 until... <laughs> until the 1500s. I probably went in my first colony until the mid-1500s. Damn. Might need to knock that on the head and start invading these twats. Wait, what? Did I have a uh, spy network going on here? Okay, but... That's something going on somewhere. Was it on you? No? Over here? You? No? You? What? Oh, this guy's grown. Yeah, he's got his province straight back. And he likes... Oh, no, that's just actually you who annexed the other guy. All right, well, welcome to the freight. Don't care if you're allied to the rivals and such. Just get on board, mate. So if we get you on board as well, then I'll be untouchable. Nobody will be touching me. Yeah, we won't even get you on board. Enemy of enemy, but allied to rival sort of thing. But, I know, we're all allying each other here. It's like a multiplayer game. Everyone's kissing each other's asses. No one's going to go to war with each other. Typical multiplayer. I need to take this guy down. But even his allies to Brindy. Brindy! Damn! Who are you not friends with? This guy? It's allied to him. So the way to go would be to attack you with my friends and take over this. That's the way to do it. Right, covert. Can't really fabricate a claim, I have to do a no CB war, which is obviously negative expansion. Has no possible stuff, but what about trade conflict? Trade only with Timps and power. Well, you have 18%. Ah. Great Lakes, 18%. I see, so we are close. Let's start building this up anyway, but we might better get a trade. Oh, actually, trade conflicts. That means I'm going to have to rival you for the rival thing, but I can't even do that. See, I had an entrance. Now I can't even use this entrance. Damn. See, aggressive expansion, everyone's going to be pissed. The only way I really have to go all of you with. Unless you find him all three of them with only two of us. But I'll do for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye.